Hey pack leaders, this is here with Friends Army protecting family from protecting the pack. I feel like I owe you guys uh, an update on the uh, development. So let me kind of show you what our develop developer is up to and his notes and all this other stuff, okay? So let me switch over. Uh, this is his um, time tracking hub staff. We'll, we'll kind of go into it a little bit. Uh, let me kind of go ahead and show you some of the notes that he's been posting. And his name is Sam. So this is uh, some of the stuff that we're doing here. Uh, we deployed a uh, test app in Meteor, uh, which is a platform that we're using. It's kind of like a, um, it ties into Amazon Web Server. So, but they, they kind of manage the scaling and all this other stuff, okay? So he got sick one day and then, sorry for that, whatever. This is the uh, interface and then this is the database. And, um, and then, you know, he's updating coming things into uh, GitHub, okay? But in the first couple of days before that, uh, I don't know if there's any sensitive information here. Okay. So we just kind of go with that. And, yeah. Alright, so here's some hub staff stuff. Uh, if you see any sensitive information, please let me know and, or just, you know, delete it or whatever. <laughs> um, so he's uh, researching, he's coding, he's uh, making sure the database is sort of connected. Uh, we're using Node Red, uh, Node.js, uh, Angular, um, composes our database, and whatnot. Okay. There it is. He's setting up the user stuff. I think he's already done with that. And he's starting to. Um, kind of load all this stuff onto the server okay um, once the uh, we're using this thing called node red and um, it is open source and we're also going to make the tuner open source also so that uh, the community can kind of help contribute but it's a visual based programming language where uh, all you do is drag and drop stuff into a, a kind of like a white background and I'll show you here it's okay you know it's open source <clears throat> and you can host this yourself too but what we're going to do we're going to change into where we're going to host it but also provide a marketplace so that if you guys decide to create your own nodes and custom nodes as you guys stream data into these uh, nodes and then split them out and then make decisions and based on what um, decisions uh, or trading criteria and indicators you can then split them off and make a buy order sell order whatever it is that you got to do okay so uh, that's the idea, um, and there's a lot of stuff that's out there where you know you can also like, hey, maybe have a signals group where you know you can control a lot of. I don't know if that's possible yet, but that's the idea. Where if you have signals, you could then you know have people subscribe to you on the marketplace. You can post the signals, and it'll automatically put put those order in uh, for you, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, based on the percentage of the portfolio or whatever. And, uh, and go from there or you can create your own tuner uh, or your own solution and then in the marketplace be able to um, uh, you know sell a subscription to that and as you develop and maintain these nodes it will um, you know you'll benefit from that and also the people who subscribe to you will benefit too okay so you can take the tuner modify it change it tweak it make it way better than I can ever make it and then sell it again as your own Okay, now you can have uh, custom nodes where you can license a piece of part of it. So let's say you're using someone else's node, but you paid for the license. Well, depending on the license uh, that they issue, uh, whether you can redistribute it, recreate it, kind of thing, then you can you pay that one small license to use that part, but then you add something or take away or whatever, uh, and make it even better. Then you can relicense it again as your own thing. Okay. Now you license the same exact thing, well that's not cool, so there's probably have, having some um, interface in, in there to kind of uh, say, hey, uh, so maybe approval process or something like that, I'm not sure, um, to go from there, okay? Alright, so that's the idea of, of it all. Uh, each user will have their own containers, their own no red instance, and you can do the internet of things, connect your whole house to um, your thermal, your thermostat, uh, turn on lights when th it's dark, um, kind of like connect to a lot of uh, manual stuff and then you'll be able to see all this on your phone as a phone app uh, as all the indicators, gauges and whatnot that's on there. Okay. 
and um, I think he said he has a solution on how to install this. Um, there was some issues installing Node-RED for multiple people because they don't have a multi-user um, benefit thing. So we had to kind of kind of come up with their own custom solution to do that. And he's in the progress of setting that up. As soon as this Node-RED is done, I've, then we can have people come in, and then after that, we'll then create all the Haas API custom nodes, where you can then simply drag Haas API stuff into it and then make it do whatever it is that you want to do. So all the coding stuff will take care on on our end. If any of you guys know how to do the coding stuff in JavaScript and learn it, uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos on Node-RED. It's pretty pretty cool. Uh, so you just kind of drag stuff, connect them, and then um, you know data streams in, and then split them off. You do some calculations by dragging nodes in also, and then make decisions uh, based on what you see. Okay. All right. Hopefully that's helped. Um, keep this uh, within our private group for now um, I don't want to I don't know I, I know Haas is also creating their own thing um, but uh, in a sense uh, we, we can use this to interact with Haas or we can then use this to just you know do our own bots without Haas so um, that's kind of the, the two things here so that, that might save you a Haas fee um, and they give you more customizations on creating your own scripts without having to learn how to program and also a marketplace for people to create things just like Android app uh, where there's you know and the Android phones are cool because there's tons of apps right it makes it useful because there's a lot of people who use it and create for it and then also benefit from development of it so that's kind of the same thing here where you know I've, I've struggled with uh, also whenever things break I have to come back and fix it you know so um, that way I have more pieces and components that a lot of people can manage these you know things that more than one 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 person can because imagine if I was trying to one person you can't you know Haas has to hire a lot of people to to manage ping pong and Mad Hatter constantly and all this other stuff but um, I can, I'm kind of changing the model where anyone can kind of be a developer in a sense and manage their own bot that they create but also have a suite of tools for people to choose from a community and if someone's doing well test it it works great not so instead of having to jump in from like bot to bot like profit trailer and then crypto bot or hopper and then oh this doesn't work that doesn't work and then, you know whatever uh it'll be kind of a, a centralized not centralized that's a bad word uh a place marketplace for many bots that and you don't have to keep switching all the time you just kind of find someone that that works and then follow them sometimes try to changes switch to someone else uh, but you don't have to constantly switch uh, to another place and there's more customizations for it you can create your own solution too okay if it works then you can share that with others and license it and you get rewarded for that okay but thank you and uh, have a good one